Well, here we go. Take 36 or something. I'm having a hard time with this English. I am stumbling over my words. I'm searching for the words. You hear a lot of us every time I do a voice over, but well, the heck with it. Uh, it is what it is. So, um, hi, welcome back to my channel, everyone. Um, this art journal page I actually did a little while ago and until now I wasn't sure if I should post it because I don't like it all that much. It is kind of right in your face with a very bright yellow and blue and these are actually the only two colors I, uh, I have used on this page so I, I, I'm not sure about this but well as well as I am showing you the pages that did work for me, I thought I should show you the ones that didn't as well. So here we go. Uh, the first technique you have seen me do here is gessoing my pages. And while the gesso is wet, sticking the pages together and then let it dry for a little while. And when you pull away the pages again, you will, uh, because of the gesso is drying, you will pull away, you will tear uh, some pieces of the paper apart and that gives a very nice uh, texture. And I actually was inspired uh, by Aaron uh, with this page uh, from Imperfect Impulses. Uh, that was one of his first videos so if you go to his channel and I will leave you the link, you will have to scroll down all the way to the bottom and uh, to find the video. And there he uh, used some bingo cards um, for his page and also the technique of the gesso uh, and sticking the pages together. So I thought that was very nice. Uh, I wanted to try that and I also had this old bingo board game or a lotto board game which had these bingo cards in it with uh, little squares of yellow and blue with numbers on it. So I thought, well, that could work on my page. So next thing I did was adding acrylic paint in the same colors as the little squares uh, are that I'm going to use in a little bit and I'm adding uh, the acrylic paint to my page and then use uh, a spray bottle with water to make it drip and move around the page and uh, you can see that the parts that have been torn while pulling the pages uh, with the dried drying jet gesso uh, away from each other again uh, the blue color turns into a kind of teal color maybe and I've also splattered a bit with the blue acrylic paint and uh, these are the little squares I was talking about and I cut them in little squares because they were all on one card and I am gluing them down with a golden gel medium so I will leave you um, the link in my description box to uh, Aaron's channel uh, from imperfect impulses great fun watching his videos and uh, you will learn a lot of techniques and you will see a lot of great pages so you really should go and watch a few. So now I'm adding the blue little squares with the numbers on it and I'm holding back on the number 44 because I want that number to be on top and I don't because it has a special meaning to me and I don't want it uh, to be covered with the other blue squares so I'm playing with it a bit now it's stuck so now it can't go anywhere
And this is a homemade acrylic spray, also a blue color. And I'm spraying onto my page. And now I'm adding a bit more texture with the liquid text modeling page and a stencil from the crafters workshop. And in a minute, um, well, I wanted to try and uh, use a spray through the same stencil, but because of the very tiny holes that didn't work, it just left me with a big wet spot on my page. And um, you will see, I will use a Faber Castell artist pit pen to um, get the effect that I want using the same stencil. Here it is. And while I was doing this, I thought about, um, how do you say that? You, uh, 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 like a crashed computer, the screen, you see all the numbers falling down. So I thought, yeah, that works okay for this page. So uh, the things I'm adding, like the, the, the stencil now and the modeling paste I'm all adding it in a vertical line and also with these rub-ons I'm just putting some parts of it down in a vertical line This is the Stazon Yet Black ink pad and a stamp uh, which had no brand name on it, but it's uh, full with a great script and text. So I very much like to use that stamp. Also in a vertical line and using the archival ink I believe this is the sepia or maybe the coffee uh, for edging uh, for inking the edges and now I'm watching this I'm thinking maybe I should uh, should have used the same ink to tone down the yellow a bit maybe but I didn't This is my Signo Uniball pen um, and I am outlining a few of the squares. Highlighting the number 44 and writing you're not a number with a black gel pen. And that's about it for this page. Um, thank you again for watching. Make sure to visit Erin's channel. I will leave you the link in the description box. Hope you've enjoyed watching me uh, doing the start to finish of this page and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.